Welcome back everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can farm for the Grasp of Malak Pulse Rifle and I'm going to be showing you the best method that I used to get this many Grasp of Maloks. So the Grasp of Maloc, in case you don't know, is a strike exclusive reward that can only drop from defeating Omnigul in the Will of Crota Strike. Now normally this weapon is quite a rare drop, even with farming. You can farm this strike by selecting it from the director, but the lowest level version of the strike has the least chance of dropping this weapon. You could jump into the Heroic Strike playlist and keep playing until you get this strike to appear because the Heroic version does have increased chances of dropping items. But the best place to farm this would be the Nightfall and luckily this week's Nightfall is Omnigul. So farming this strike is actually really easy. All you have to do is play normally all the way up to this point in the strike where I'm at now in the video and when you see Omnigul for the first time here, you'll actually be able to kill her if you're quick enough before she moves to the final room and she'll still drop items. When you do kill her, your whole fire team will want to then die, and when you do, it will reset you to the last checkpoint, which is just at the beginning of this room. And you can keep doing this over and over as many times as you like, until you get a grasp of Malak to drop. Now I found that the best and easiest method of killing her was by running with three hunters. Now in this video I was actually running with two gunslingers, but I'll explain that in a second. Normally it'll be best to run with at least one or two night stalkers, because the tethers not only slow her down, they also increase the amount of damage she takes, and also tethers the enemies around her, which makes it easier to kill her, because this room can get very crowded and the enemies will overrun you very quickly. The Night Stalker's Tether also generates a lot of orbs, which is really useful for your teammates because then it allows them to get their supers up quicker and also Tether Omnigul. If you have three Night Stalkers, then you can just keep on generating more and more orbs for each other and continuously Tether her. Now the reason we were using two Gunslingers in this video instead of two Night Stalkers was because at the time of this Nightfall, it had Solar Burn. So we were using two Celestial Nighthawks, which combines all three of your Golden Gunshots into one big supercharged shot, which does six times the damage. And we were also using the Deadeye Talons on our Golden Guns, because this increases the damage. So two Celestial Nighthawks combined with Solar Burn meant that we were almost able to kill her in just two shots. Add the Night Stalker's Teth on top of this, and it would absolutely annihilate her. So that's what we found to be the best method here, running three hunters with Night Stalker. Although Titans can be pretty useful here as well, if you don't have a hunter, you can either go Defender with Weapons of Light, or the better option would be to go Sunbreaker and equip Melting Point. This sets fire to target when you melee an enemy, and for 5 seconds, you can do 50% more damage. As for weapons, I found that the Raze Light Exotic Sword and the Invective were really effective against Omnigul because if you're not fast enough, she will just leg it, so these are really good at staggering Omnigul and even pushing her back to where she spawns. This is also why you'll need the Tether just in case, because she will try to fly away. It is also a bit random sometimes, sometimes she'll just try to fly away immediately and other times she'll just stay where she spawns. Luckily, as I said, the Raze Lighter and shotguns such as the Invective are really good at staggering her and can even be used to push her back, so if you just try to fly away, just get in front of her and push her back to the original spawn and you should be good. If you don't manage to kill her in time and she makes it to the next room, do not chase her because if you do, it will trigger the next checkpoint and activate the boss fight and when you die, it will respawn you there instead of at the last checkpoint and so if you want to continue farming, you'll have to restart the strike from the beginning. Now, as this is the Nightfall, this is your absolute best chance of getting something to drop, either the Grasp of Maluk or the Omnigal Bond, which is the other exclusive reward in this strike, and there's a significantly noticeable difference in the amount of legendary drops in the Nightfall compared to the Heroic version and the standard version of the strike. I was probably getting a drop at least once every two runs. Now, because I'm 335 light, these items also drop to add either 335 or 334. So, not only is this a really good way of farming for a God Royal Grasp of Maluk, it's also a really good method for getting infusion material, and you can use these Omnigal Bonds to infuse into your other items and your other classes. I actually got so many items that I lost count of how many items I got, but I think I got around 12 or maybe more Grasp of Maluks, and around 16 or so Omnigal Bonds, and this was maybe in about 4 or 5 hours of grinding. So that is the method that I used to get so many Grasp of Maluks. Again, do note that this is in the Nightfall, and so that's how I was able to get so many to drop. The Grasp of Maluk is probably one of the most sought after weapons in the Crucible right now, due to its ability to melt opponents. So if you want to get one of these of your own, now is your best chance. I really hope that you found this video useful, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.